Well, we are now going to the village of Berendrecht to, uh, with, with many children and some inhabitants of the camp to uh, spread flyers and information about the action of tomorrow. Tomorrow many activists will try to block the coal uh, stocking place which is located a bit further here and we're going to try to invite the, the inhabitants of the village so that maybe they want to join us tomorrow. Are we going to do this with the children? To do it mm -hmm. in a very uh, say, non-violent and, and peaceful way and it's a good way for us to show it, mm -hmm. I think. They are the first victims of this, of this thing which is a uh, heavy polluting uh, stockage place and from what we heard there are quite a lot of people here who are very upset about this place uh -huh. and uh, it's also important for us to have good relationship with the, with the neighborhood obviously. They should be. They should be with us. We will have uh, a kids demonstration, but not only the kids, but everyone uh -huh. who wants to join um, the, uh, the, the the day of action in a non-confrontational way is uh, free to join us. So um, we, we have made banners. We have uh, music instruments that we've made, and quite a lot of things. So I think it's going to be fun tomorrow. Well, I came to the yeah. camp uh, because I think it's very important for me to teach my to teach my children that. Uh, the way we are, the way human beings are dealing with the planet right now is not sustainable in any way and that we have to change the way we live. That's why we try to do in our daily life and taking part in such a camp is a good way to make the children know more about uh, the dangers of climate change, about uh, how we could live in a different way in the future. I'm definitely, I'm worried about my future, but even more about their future. Yeah, I'm afraid that the planets that, are, that we are going to leave them will not be livable. They won't be able to live in it. Or maybe if they can live in it, their children won't be able to live in it because uh -huh. we're just destroying the whole planet, basically. We have to change our way of life. Uh, I mean, everyone at on a in very individual level, but also the way we organize society together. Uh -huh. uh, we have to drastically uh, diminish the way we deal with energy. We have to live with much less energy. We have to live... Uh, I don't know, I think we should all stop eating meat uh, because this is very, also a very polluting way of, of, uh, of living. There are quite a lot of things that people can do very easily uh, without drastic changes in their way of life that could make the planet a better place already. Becoming veg uh -huh. vegetarian, uh -huh. uh, using only renewable energy and not, uh, not any kind of polluting uh, sort of energy to produce electricity or anything. Um, uh, using public transport instead of having a car or driving your bike would be much better. Uh, you know, all that kind of, of things. And also teaching the children that they have to deal with nature and with the planet in a much better way than what we've done.